I Am Not Starfire is a YA drama comic about the troubled life of the daughter of Teen Titans mainstay hero, Mandy. And it sucks. Created by Mariko Tamaki and illustrated by Yoshi Yoshitake, this comic is infamous for how bad it is, to the point to where many, many other YouTubers have gone out of their way to expose and point out that this is one of the worst pieces of Western media they have ever seen. I wasn't particularly offended while I read it, but after analyzing it and looking deeper into it, I realized something. I Am Not Starfire is not just a bad piece of visual literature. I Am Not Starfire, in my opinion, is just straight up the perfect microchasm. The, the ultimate example of why Western comics are so notoriously terrible. And by the end of this analysis series, I'm hoping I'll have convinced you guys as to why. Now, look, I'm not trying to be a fucking weeb. I know for a fact that there are some good Western comics out there, like, um... Uh, Invincible, uh, Watchmen, oh, Scott Pilgrim, and, um, uh, okay, that's all the ones I can come up with. The reason why I can only come up with a few is because in order to find one good Western comic, you gotta sift through a colossal pile of bullshit to find some good stuff. Don't get me wrong, manga aren't that much different for every five fantastic manga available to enjoy. You got 50 embarrassing to read self-insert power fantasy fictions and fetish inserts, but it's a lot easier to find great manga because, well, there's just more of them. Mariko Tamaki, the Canada-born artist and mastermind behind this travesty train wreck, is actually a veteran when it comes to graphic novel writing. She's been in the comic book business for decades now, and she actually has written a fair amount of successful titles within all those years. This lady seems to know what she's doing, so what the hell is this clunker that she's made? And how did she manage to make it such a horrendous disaster? Well, you're gonna find out in this analysis series. So, before I get in deeper, I'd like to say that I already know for a fact that this subject matter has been done to death in reviewing its garbageness. So, just like High Guardian Spice, I'm gonna do my best to provide you guys with an in-depth analysis that you haven't heard of yet. So, yeah, without further ado, let's begin. Right off the bat, when I first discovered that this existed, I was beyond confused. I had too many questions to ask for this project. Way too fucking many. And uh, just by looking at the cover of the comic, I'm sure you do too, uh, assuming you don't know what you're about to get yourself into. So, we're gonna do what we usually do in this review series and give ourselves a little bit of a taste of what we're about to get ourselves into. Let's watch the animatic looking trailer on the official DC Comics YouTube channel. Guys, this video is only 42 seconds long, Technically, there's actually only 30 seconds of actual trailer footage in the video, and yet you will straight up leave with more questions than you had walking into this video. So, allow me to microanalyze the ever-loving hell out of 30 seconds worth of footage. Let's do this. I'm Mandy. All my life, I've been the kid of a superhero. Alright, so right off the bat, the first thing you see is the supposed daughter of Starfire and our main character, Mandy. Oh, okay, so this is Starfire's daughter? How in the f- Oh my god. Okay, first the fuck of all, why does this girl look nothing like her? She literally doesn't even have the same hair color as her. Secondly, why is this girl so fucking fat? Starfire has peak physical fitness, and so does Nightwing, so... Wait, Nightwing isn't Mandy's father according to the wiki. Oh, okay. Alright, well that leads me to my next question. Who the hell is this girl's father? This is never explained in the comic, nor is it even mentioned that a potential father exists. You're kinda just supposed to take it as a matter of fact that a lack of father is just not a thing. Why is this girl such a cocksucker? She is a total asshole throughout the comic for completely insignificant reasons that she should easily just not care about provided she had someone to talk to. If I go deeper into that, I'm just gonna go off topic, so we'll save that for when the time is right. For now, let's just keep watching the trailer. But really, I'm like the opposite of my mom, Starfire. She can fly and shoot star bolts. I can't do any of that. Oh. Oh, okay. So she intentionally tries to not be like her mom because she hates her mom. 
And that's why the title is called what the title is. Oh, that's so deep. Wow, that, that's so deep and thought-provoking and clever. Oh, amazing writing skills, Mariko Tamaki. Okay, so why wouldn't Mandy have her powers activated by now? I don't know much about DC lore, but I do know my fucking Teen Titans, thanks to the OG TV show back in the early 2000s. God, that show was awesome. <clears throat> Tamaranian superpowers are awakened through strong emotional spurts, and Mandy's a fucking teenager going through turbulent times in what seems to be her senior year in high school. Hormone-induced emotions are literally like 95% of high school, so how the hell does she not have any superpowers yet? Now, Blackfire, my evil aunt, shows up and tells me it's time to meet my fate. So now, I have to battle her for the throne of Tamarin, wherever that is. What? That, that doesn't even make any fucking sense! First of all, why the hell would Blackfire need to fight Starfire's daughter for the fucking throne? Starfire is still alive, and Mandy has no reason to care about a random ass planet light years away from Earth. Also, uh, the way Mandy's voice actress delivers that line implies that she has no idea where Tamaran even is. So I'm assuming they're fighting on Earth over it, right? Why would the battle for Tamaran take place on Earth? What the hell is this, dude? And since I'm not my mother, what happens next is going to be totally messed up. <sighs> wow, that really is something. But yeah, that's the whole trailer. Never in my life have I ever been more bewildered by a 30 second long video. Also, the comments are disabled on this video. Gee, I wonder why. Oh yeah, and let's address this right now as the icing on the cake for this professed masterpiece of a comic. Just so my fans who aren't familiar with this disaster piece have context into what they're about to get themselves into. I couldn't help but notice that Mariko Tamaki, you know, the writer for this visual novel, looks an awful lot just like the main character, Mandy. Yeah, isn't that interesting? The same short hair, the same plus size, the same hair color, and on top of that is the primary protagonist for a story that seems to be a very bitter recollection of someone, quote unquote, high school years. That's really interesting. Super duper interesting. Now I'm sure that's just a coincidence though. Okay, seriously though, guys, do you see what we're about to get ourselves into here? We're gonna get into the comic as soon as possible, but I'm actually running out of time right now, so I'm gonna end this video entry right here. Yes, I dedicated basically an entire video to ranting about the nonsense of a 30 second long trailer. Yes, I know, it's totally ridiculous and seemingly petty for me to devote an entire video to one small trailer. But guys, you gotta understand, the point of me doing this is just to show you how nonsensical this is right from the get-go. Right off the bat, before we've even opened the comic book's first page, literally nothing makes sense. And nothing is accurate to the DC Universe, despite being a trailer from the official DC YouTube channel. Channel. That's why I'm putting so much emphasis into this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is more than likely going to be a long ride. To be continued in part two. And don't forget, you should be giving me money on Patreon. My current $10 donors are... Duke Dragon Hearthfire the 10th, Elimations, and Procrastinator Dave. And let's not forget our $5 donors, Dragonlight Z, Stormy Knight, and Travis. All these folks that are supporting me are appreciated just as much as you guys watching my video right now. If you'd like to be in the credits of my videos as well, just catch me on patreon.com slash blacklightjack. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, and also, I gave myself a new goal. If I fucking, if I reach $100 on Patreon, uh, I'll read that one really infamous Zootopia fan comic by Borba. You know, the one where Judy Hopps gets an abortion or some autistic shit like that? Yeah, I I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna read that and I'm gonna review it. Even though I don't think I need to tell you what I'm going to say in that review. But yeah, hope you're interested.